wish I was somewhere else today. <laughs> Good grief. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So it was around 5 a.m. when this all happened? Um, I think around 4 a.m. 4 a.m. So talk mm -hmm. about from the beginning. What happened? Um, I was heading back to the office to file reports and uh, came upon an accident. There was a three-car accident already at that site. So, of course, we stopped to check on them to see how, if everybody's okay. And then um, one vehicle was still in a travel lane. And uh, two of our other guys stopped to see how things were, one of our dump trucks and one of our supervisors. And uh, I had told them, I said, I'll, I can, uh, I'll sit here and wait for the police to arrive to protect the, the lane that had the vehicle in it. And it uh, wasn't long after they left that um, I was watching traffic come up behind me because I had somebody coming up that was in my lane and you don't want them to hit. And I happened to catch my eye in the windshield and here comes a truck. He was uh, sliding and he went into the median and then turned over and on top of my truck. How did you escape injury? Uh, I think that was probably the good Lord. <laughs> He protected me tonight. I had my guardian angel riding with me. Um, I saw it coming in, I guess, natural reflexes to, to lay over, and I laid over towards the uh, console as far as I could get from it. And when you're looking at it, of course, it's crunching, and you're like, okay, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> and it stopped. When you, how did you get out, first of all? Uh, well, I was trapped for a little while, not hurt. I mean, not, not, you know, anything that was, but it just, everything was bound tight. It was a tight little compartment left. And I just kept wiggling until I could get enough of me out and to turn this and turn that. And it's kind of like a, you know, one of those wooden puzzles. You kind of turn it this way and go that way and that. <laughs> and finally I was able to get over the console and uh, kick the door open. And was the passenger door wasn't like buckled or jammed or anything? You could get it open? Well, I, I pulled the handle on it and it went pop, you know, like, like something unbound. But it still wouldn't open because everything was just kind of scrunched in. And, but with my feet, I could push it open. So were you in the driver's seat when you saw the truck coming? Yes. And, and then talk about what you did to move. Well, before that, I had, I had my seatbelt on sitting there because, you know, if somebody comes and hits you, I'd rather stay a part of it than be thrown out. And uh, so as soon as it hit and I figured, okay, I'm okay, I was trying to find the seatbelt to release that so I could get out and uh, find that. and. Um, the steering wheel was down on my thigh, and I was able to pop that out, and then I had to wiggle my foot out from underneath the dashboard. And uh, I, don't, I don't know, it just you just wiggle until you can get free. Well, while I was sitting there, actually, that's when I called 911 and told them there had been an accident and they needed to get an ambulance and uh, some fire trucks and stuff like that for protection. So you called 911 before you even got out of the cab? Yeah, the yeah, before I got out of the driver's seat. I couldn't move for a while, so I was, you know, they were going to have to probably cut me out. And uh, after I called them and uh, they said they'd get everything on the way, get an ambulance and stuff on the way, then I started working at trying to get out. And I was able to work free. And then I went, I, when I got out, I went to check on the driver of the truck because I didn't see anybody, you know, standing around. And as I went around by the cab of the truck, he was crawling out of the back window then. He said he was fine. So he was standing there. You started seeing the truck swerve to you get out of the way. Mm. Um, <laughs> probably a couple seconds. I mean, it goes, it goes quick. You know, I guess they say things slow down in slow motion when you have a, an incident go on. But you know, all I could do was I was looking in my rearview mirror because, like I said, people were coming up on me. So I was trying to watch them. I was actually pumping at my brake to try to give extra light so they could, you know, catch their attention. And when I did. Then I saw the, uh, <laughs> I saw the um, something in the windshield caught my eye, and I guess that was the truck when it was sliding. So, when you finally and I had all my lights on. I mean, I had, had the, the uh, bar lights on and the lights on the truck on, and you know, so the guy behind me, I was hoping could see all that. When do you go yeah. back to work, and with how much enthusiasm? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wanted to come back and finish my shift today, but, and it was just about over, but they said probably I ought to go ahead and rest today. And I'd been working the night shift for the past few nights with the snow. So as far as I know, unless we, if we have to operate tonight, I'll be in here at 8 o'clock at night, and if not, I'll be in here at 8 o'clock in the morning, ready to go. 
I guess I have a lot of room to be enthusiastic, and I'm still here. So. You've been driving 33 years. Is this your closest call? Here, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it's probably the biggest and closest. I've had a couple of accidents, but not with VDOT, but, you know, on my own. But, yeah, this was probably the most dramatic. When you finally got out of the truck and you saw what that looked like, we've just seen pictures, but when you saw that, what did you think? Hmm. Well, uh, I was very thankful. <laughs> uh, I had prayed when I was in there. Before I called 911, I, when I saw it happen, you, sh you do a quick prayer. You're like, oh, good Lord, help me here. i got to have some help. And then when you're done, you're like, thank you, good Lord. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. How's your wife doing with this? Good. She's fine. Mm -hmm. She says she is. She's, she's strong. She's probably, uh, she's probably a nervous wreck, but she's, she's fine. Has she seen the pictures? Yeah. Did she come to the scene? E later on, after, after I was getting home from the hospital. She saw it when it was still sitting there, but... What yeah. did she say to you when she saw that? You know, well, oh my goodness or something. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> and you had, someone said you had some cuts on your hands from holding the steering wheel and... Yeah, I guess, you know, you, you have your hands on there and I guess that's the thing you grip. <laughs> and uh, when the roof cr crushed in, it uh, crushed down on my hands. And, uh, and glass was flying everywhere, you know, glass was everywhere, so, so I'm sure. So still, still on the wheel and your body was... Yeah, well, I, you couldn't lean much. I had a seat belt on for one and a big console there, so when I leaned to the side, it was like, oh, okay. Did you say the impact actually moved the steering wheel? Is that what you said? It, it crushed, it crushed it down. down yeah, on my thigh. I got a sore thigh and that's about it. Out of all this. Did you go to the hospital? Yep. Okay. yep. They x-rayed everything and they said, you're good to go. Washed my hands and... Got a couple of little pieces of glass out and see ya. <laughs> <coughs> you must be pretty shaken up. I mean, I know it was a while ago, but yeah. to have that happen. It does a little bit, but I went home and went to sleep. <laughs> I so was you tired. Were, you were, I mean, you had pulled off, but you were plowing <coughs> at the time. Is that what you wanted around? No, around? I'm in a pickup. I'm one of the shift supervisors. Oh, okay. Right. So I was, uh, I was in a pickup. One of our plows stopped. and. I stopped and told him, you know, why don't you go ahead and keep plowing because we've got to get this snow off the road and I'll sit here with the accident. So he went on and kept doing his rounds. And it was right before you get to, what is that burger place? Tammy's and Johnny's. Tammy's Chicken Johnny's. place. Chicken place. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken and burgers. Because we saw the big grooves in the, and that's where it was. Yeah, in the median right there. The median. Okay. Track trailer was southbound? Yes. Yep. And, and the accident that you stopped to assist with was northbound, is that right? No, I think, I, I don't, I'm, I can't be positive, but I believe it was uh, southbound because oh, okay. there was two vehicles on that but side. You were northbound and he came across I was, southbound. Yeah, okay. Right, uh-huh. What was it, did the driver say anything to you? Uh, I, I don't remember. Um, no, I asked him if he was okay and he said, yeah, man, I'm all right. And that was it, and I guess. He, kind of climb out of his cab? Yeah, he was climbing, you know, of course the truck's laying on his side, and he was climbing out the back window when I got there. So he said he said he was fine, so I guess that's the good thing about this whole thing. Five vehicles sitting there in wrecks, and everybody walked away, everybody was okay. That's, that's the good thing. You know, people just need to know to be careful out here when all this emergency stuff's going on. You know, we got, we got trucks out here, there's the sheriff department out there, the state police, um, uh, of course fire and rescue, they're all over the place and, and we've got a lot of our guys that are out there just trying to, trying to get their job done and go home at night and this morning everybody got to go home. We're glad you're okay. I'm glad so, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What did it sound like? <laughs> it was loud. <laughs> I, I didn't hear him coming. I just saw the big white truck coming at me, the trailer, I think is what hit me. But it was just, uh, you, you hear the glass breaking and the, the metal crunching. Like I say, you hear the crunching and you see it happening and you're like, okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and then it's all quiet. Was he loaded? Like, was it a fully loaded trailer? Do you have any idea? I, I I'm don't just curious about the weight coming down on your trailer. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know any of that. Was there any moment where you thought you wouldn't make it? Yeah, just before it hit, I wondered, like I said, I, 
I wonder, okay, is, is this it? And I wonder if it's going to hurt. That's the only thing I thought. That's crazy, but yeah. That's the whole thing out here. It can be over in a second. You best have yourself right and ready. So you had mentioned earlier about other accidents you've been in. You've been in worse car accidents than this accident, correct? No, no. Oh, okay. I was just saying I had had other ones, but other no. Ones? Oh, this, okay. this is the most dramatic by, by okay. a long shot. But in terms of injury, have you ever been hurt in a car accident? No. Oh, okay. Well, I, I had a sprained shoulder. I had someone pull out in front of me one time, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't have any time to react. It was just pow, struck him, and, mm -hmm. and it twisted me and sprained a, sprained a shoulder, but I mean, yeah, nothing bad. Right, but in a sense, you walked away from that a little more injured than you yep. walked away today. Yeah, maybe that's, if I was a cat, maybe that's two. I got seven more. Mm hmm. <laughs> Do you ever think just how close Looking at the accident, how just how close you came. Yeah. Yeah, you want to think about that, but I'm not going to dwell on it. You know, every day things probably happen that I miss by that much, and I don't know it. So I'm not going to I'm not going to sit somewhere and cower the rest of my life just because something bad happened. I got away from it, so that can't be so bad. The bad stuff you never know about. Does it change your perspective on anything at all? No, I have a. Strong faith in God, and uh, this only reinforces it. <laughs>